boys. I think we're I think we're just gonna wing it this time. Uh, uh, Teresa yeah. and I are headed to Williams, but we're gonna stop by Monument Valley. You guys want to join us? Absolutely. Um, I gotta check my schedule, but I think I can make it. All you right. know, our schedule has been very busy on this trip. You know, we're just kind of hanging out. Well, again, we put a post up this morning. Uh, by the time you see this, we just want to thank all the the fans and the the friends and the families that came up to us uh, the whole. Uh, three or four days here. It was great to hear some of the stories and shake their hands and take some pictures with them. Can't do it without you guys, so thank you so much. And we yeah. are here in Durango, Colorado, finishing up our time at the Four Corners Rally, just is in this, case you missed that. Is this day four? I have, I have no idea what day it we is. We lost count, but we love you all. It was really great. It's been fun, and we got a big adventure ahead of us still right now. So, so maybe we should get the ladies' take on what they felt about the trip a little bit. I, should, I think we should tell people what they're going to see in this video and what we're going to do today. Well, why and then you we'll tell get them that. that? Tell them. I think we're going to ride through, you might have said that, uh, Monument Valley. But we're starting our journey home from Durango, Colorado to Los Angeles, home base. We're going to take some scenic routes, but end up in Williams today. So we're just going to take you guys. Williams. We've never been there. Williams, Arizona. <laughs> um, just going to take you guys along for the ride and show you some good times. We're going to show them some really cool stuff. Um, what do you want to ask the ladies? Let's take the ladies' uh, take on this. Hey, How'd guys. you like Four Corners Rally? Loved Four Corners Rally. It was a lot of first for us. First uh, rodeo. First rally, period. Uh -huh. um, flat track, the brawl. It was just good. It was good all good. times nice. were had. We loved Durango, Harley Davidson, and we loved meeting all of you awesome fans that come up and say hello to us. It was good. I have a little problem because I stepped on Lance's vibe twice because uh, I used his thing. Is he going to recover? So he coached them to say the first. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you took my first away, brother. All right, well, we've been talking for like five to nine yeah, minutes. So Let's just hit the Let's road. So we just did a 100 plus mile stretch. You saw the scenery change along the way. Who do we got, dude? Uh, we have some folks from uh, New York. They shipped out. They're riding all over the Western states here. What's your name? Jim. Jim, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice I follow you guys on Instagram and YouTube. Where are you at them? New York City, Queens. New York all right. City, Queens. And where are you riding on this trip? Um, this is my Road Glide 23 ST. Cool, cool. This is my man Anthony right there. Yo, uh, custom built uh, nice CBO breakout. Thing's right. pretty cool, brother. Hi. Nice to meet you. Right on. Great paint job that. on that sucker, huh? Uh huh. How are you doing? How are you? Good, good. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know unless you go. And we're here, and you know what? We're getting gas. They stopped, and it's like, hey, people from New York, and they know who we are and love that. All right. I got to pee. So we're getting ready to pack up. And we're headed to where? Well, we're on a on a conference call, and we're on our way to Monument Valley. And then, tell us your name. Yeah, my name is Damos. I'm from Monument Valley myself. What? And He's we, from what Monument, Monument Valley. Valley. We're going to Monument Valley. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> right? Hey, I, I sure wish I could ride with you guys out there, man. But uh, it's such a beautiful area, of course. And to just uh, stop on our way to Cortez and run into you guys is awesome. <laughs> you I know what? Podcast all the time. So. You know what's really funny? is we've been going to Monument Valley for years. Now we have a brother in Monument Valley, but the funny thing is he's wearing an LA hat where we're from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <I> was <laughs> what is the likelihood of this? This town is called Annis. Annis, Utah. And we've yeah. had a guy from Monument Valley show mm -hmm. up. We had a guy from New York, Queens, New yeah. York show up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Like we're out wow, in the middle yeah. of nowhere. This is beautiful. You're, yeah, you Shaking guys, hands with America. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, welcome to the Navajo Nation. Thank so, you. Okay. We're glad yeah, to be yeah. here. Hey, it's just good to run into some brothers from yeah, right all on. over the country. Right on. We get people from all over the world. Yes. Uh, you got the hot spot for photography. photography. Everyone yeah. wants to see it.
made it to Monument Valley. My guy's over here taking some pictures. Laura, when was the last time you were here? Um, it's been about five years, I want to say. So it's been a while. I'm glad to be here. It's an amazing sight to see. What are you thinking, Teresa? I'm thinking it's gorgeous. And we I don't think we've been through Mexican Hat before, have we? Yeah. We saw if you've been through distance. here, yeah, from a distance. Saw, and this time we went through, a, I feel like a different route, and it was gorgeous. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we're watching the traffic here at Forest Gump Hill. Great shots. A little murky today. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a forest fire. It's just an inversion or something. But always beautiful. Always beautiful. Can you explain to me the science of what an inversion is? Yeah, so I can't. But it's murky, uh, okay. foggy kind of weather. Okay, my guy my guy over here. What did you just tell those nice people in the Jeep? I said, would you kindly move your Jeep up above the motorcycle so I can get the shot I was going to get? All right. What is it that you want to say to the world? Well, this is the most iconic photograph place. A lot of westerns were done here. Forrest Gump was done here. We come here a lot, and it's always spectacular to see. I really love it. I love the view. We're midday, so sometimes it's not as good because it's so bright, but hey, weather, spectacular. Weatherman Willie. Yes. What's an inversion? What's an inversion? I can't tell you that. Is that when... I that's I was at, I was kind of just messing with you, but is that when the pressure changes and brings in different levels of atmospheric atmos? Yes, because an inversion layer can cause muck. I thought so I was making happens, up words. It, there's not a lot of wind, but there is wind right now, so I'm not yeah. quite sure. And we're gonna put some pictures up on the screen right now. So I'd we're say. also <laughs> gonna go try and get into the it's the mittens. I don't know what the name of the mo hotel is, but we're gonna go see if they have a restaurant that we can look out on the mittens. That would be fantastic. We, that's that'd be a first. If not, it's Taco Bell and Cayenne. Oh boy, sure did. <laughs> So someone commented that we purposefully make our schedules really tight so that we have to stop by Taco Bell, and I'm really starting to believe them. I have a feeling we were here just like five days ago. <laughs> but really, we did try to get up into the Mittens area, to the Navajo Visitor Center, uh, and eat there, but that restaurant didn't open until 5, so yep. it's 4 o'clock. Might as well just get a quickie. Cayenta, Cayenta. Yeah, another great stop. We always stop here for some reason. We always end up here, but it's cool because we always leave happy. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't, uh, check with Law Tigers and Tank. <laughs> check this All I can say is we eat here yeah, because we are culture. Yeah. yeah. So that's what happens. Plenty of room for all three bikes. And then they decide to take up three entire spots at a busy gas station. Boys, what just happened? Well, look, uh, you may have seen this happen when we were on our way to Milwaukee. Galen Anderson uh, ran low on gas. Wow. And we had to drop down to speed. And this time, who was running low on gas? Well, it was fine, but we started going uphill. The wind was gnarly. We were going uphill. It went from 40 to 20. 
like that. Yep. So then I just set it to 70 and cruised it. And up the hills, I got down to two miles per gallon. As soon as we crested, two miles started, per gallon. Two gallons left. Two gallons left. <laughs> yeah. Two, two miles. Two, two miles. And Sorry. then as we flattened out and we're going downhill, it went back up to like ten. So. But now I figured out his problem. He's only getting two miles to the gallon. That's it. <laughs> right. Yeah. You guys probably saw the winds. That was wild. The dust storms and everything. We worked so hard to pass everyone, and then I knew I was going to make it because at one point when we had sixty miles left, it said I had forty. So when it went from 20 to two, I just wasn't worried about it. So I came here first, I got here on time, and now we're taking up three spots where we could have taken up one at a busy gas station. So let's just say this, yeah. you went to find the gas. I did, I was on a mission. And I'm uh, drinking Lance, coconut water. Lance back down uh, so he could save gas. I stayed in between so I could still hear him on the comm. And we hung out and made sure everyone got here and safe and we got That's our right. gas. I turned my comm off, turned my radio on real loud. Laura was hitting me. We were lost. We didn't know what to do. Oh my God. Just kidding. Wait. <laughs> we'll see you in Did Williams. Did that really happen? <laughs> no. mile stretch but I mean it's so crazy Lance and I like on our first ride out here the sunsets at this time of day are mm -hmm. insane we got a little bit of rain the Sun was coming down as well and look at the sky now it's just absolutely beautiful remember that side yes. of the road Jeez. snow on the ground but that's why we do this i mean what it's september 1st or 2nd today and look at that rain it really rained here i mean off in the distance you get some such beautiful crisp but we kind of missed it we got lucky we got sprinkled on she said it was hailing yesterday yeah here, so i don't know man hey this uh, year we've skirted a lot of the storms last year we couldn't miss one <laughs> <laughs> but hey we love this stuff and that's why we do it Well, I can tell you right now, I got this really great looking ribeye and baked potato. And what is the exact name of this place again? Rue 66. Rue? Rulu's. Rulu's 66 on Route 66 in Williams, Arizona. I've eaten here a few times. It's really good food. And I hope everyone really digs it. You came out here on a solo trip yes. on the bike recently, yes. right? Yes. Okay. I had, a, I had a prime rib and it was delicious. Well, I'll tell you what, this trip, kind of like three for five on steaks. A couple of them were not so good, but this one's looking good. We talked to a dude at another table. He said the ribeye was bomb. That thing looks pretty good to me. G-Man, what's going so on? So you may want to search Rulu's on Route 66 Bar and Grill. Yes. R-U-L-U. -U. Bar and Grill. Okay. Rulu. I got the New York. I had them switch out to the... Uh, onions and, and mushrooms, and I gotta tell you, I think I'm gonna compete against your uh, ribeyes. We'll let them know. We'll, we'll let, let them know. know. Yeah, and look yeah. at that baked potato. Yeah, dude. Usually not fully loaded, but they put it on, didn't tell them not to, and I'm just getting that thing ready to jump in. Teresa, that looks incredible. It is. What do you want? Two chicken breasts, mashed potato, I can't wait to try it. Laura. I got the same thing, and I got it with a baked potato. All right. Well, I can't wait till you try it because this is the best steak, ribeye steak, that we've had on this trip. All right. So. Well, I got a real dark beer and I got a real nice steak, and we'll let you know what's up. I will say, like I said before, Whoa. it's day five or six, steak five or six, and that was the best steak we've had all trip. Pleasantly I, surprised. I concur. It was the best meal. Yeah. We had a good time. A good. We sat there around for a while, having a good time talking and having fun. And you had the ribeye, and you had the New, New York. York. Um, right. I just had them change uh, the peppers to the onions and, and mushrooms like you guys had. But that, for me, was the best meal of the trip. So if I'm, not, I'm not kidding. If, Rulu 66 Bar and Grill. In Williams, Arizona. you got to come check this place out. Good I time. had a couple of beers. 
we're walking tonight. Now you got me hooked on stout. <sighs> Stouts are bomb, dude. But yeah, the ribeye was good. The service was good. They had live music. Uh, we had ice cream and lava cake. Girls? Um, I didn't have lava cake. Yeah, that's fine. We're here. Tell us about your meal. Oh, it was really good tonight. I just said to Laura that was very good, and she said it was one of our best meals of the day. All right. Well, we are going to go smoke some cigars and chill out, and we will uh, see you guys in the we night. Might, we might need some whiskey. <laughs> Why is he behind the counter? Because he knows the bartender. All right. Bartender. There's the bartender. Let me get a drink. What do you want? Smart one. These were going to be outtakes. But I think they'll just be at the end of the video. We had some comments. Oh, you gotta smoke some real cigars. Not those gas station Tipperellas, but I have a bad habit of inhaling smoking these suckers like cigarettes. So I'm gonna smoke how I smoke. My guy over here. We smoke good cigars, nice thick cigars, rolled. We have some humidors. But when you're on the road, this is all you can find. Now the hotel said, hey, we have a humidor in there and you can, you know, $5 donation. But guess what? Every one of them that Galen and I grabbed were like a hard brick falling apart. So we went for these. So normally, um, I wouldn't say that we smoke big, hard, fat ones. Don't say that. That's what it's like I'm saying that. So I tear the Tipperello tip off and I have like a Clint Eastwood smoke. You know you're killing me. Funny story about Clint Eastwood. I met the guy and I was doing valet at an estate. He dropped his glasses, picked them up. That's my story. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what, we can smoke what we want and we can drink what we want, even if it's smart water <laughs> or a cheap cigar. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, in all this excitement, I forgot myself. So you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Real quick, before the video is officially over, we just want to say thank you to everyone that supports our store, supports our brand, watches the videos, comes up to us and says hello. Well, we've had a really great, it's, it's another event where people show up and support us and the only way we could do this is without your support so with your support the only way we could do this is with your support <laughs> tulanelife.com watch on our videos we just really appreciate it and and i'm going to go back to like the barella family they were joey they were early adopters um you know drum and our people that have started with us four and a half years ago and we saw him again this year in Durango. Thank you guys. And thank you to all those that are gonna join us, uh, but join the Tulane Life family uh, in the future here and thank you. We say it and we always say it, we love y'all. I can't say enough. Um, meeting everyone was truly an awesome experience and we love all of you followers and thank you for following the guys and, and for coming up to us. That really was special too. So we had a great time and love you all. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for all the love that you guys show to the guys and to Laura and I. It makes us feel very special. It is so cool to ride motorcycles, share our experiences, drink a little Jim Beam and some smart water, and we'll see you in the morning. Um, it's actually Maker's, Maker's Mark. Mark. Sure did. <laughs>